Well, thank you for having me in your kitchen. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you? Great. I have invited my friend Jonathan into my kitchen because my grandchildren absolutely love pate. And I have never made it. And you, my friend, I'm here to teach you. Let's get to grinding our meat. All right, sounds good. All right, so we're gonna okay. turn the machine on a level two. We're gonna start with the pork shoulder. We're just gonna feed these pieces into the hopper and let them go through at their own rate. You see we're gonna put in the pork belly. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna put the veal in. That is beautiful. Now I'll lose you time for the chicken livers. Oh, yes. Um, this is the, this is the one like that isn't so livers. fun. So yeah, all right. So we have ground up veal, we have ground up uh, pork shoulder, we have ground up pork belly, and then um, we also have the ground up chicken livers. And it does not look appetizing right now, but remember, there's lots of great things that we're gonna add to this. Extra pieces can be your own mixture. And then we're also going to add some ground up bay leaf, which is the, the oh. laurel tree. And that um, that is a traditional French charcuterie ingredient as well. So I'm just gonna add some of that. We're gonna add some raw garlic. I'm also going to add some onion that we sauteed and some butter. And this is gonna be pretty, pretty delicious. And then um, we're gonna add our egg as well. All right, six tablespoons of cognac. Okie dokie. Just pour it right can I in. Can I measure like they do on TV? Yeah, absolutely. I say I the more that. the merrier. I love that. Oh yeah, you always say that. One, two, three, four. Ooh, wow. I think that was six. That's a lot. Of, <laughs> this is gonna be a good pate. Woo! It's gonna burn going down. Yes. <laughs> All right, and let's actually let's put in let's put in those pistachios as well. You have a nice, nice, beautiful, fragrant mixture here. Okay, Alicia. So okay. we have now we have our pate mixture, Perfect. and so we're ready to line our mold. In this metal pan, what I'm going to do is just literally line the pan with bacon. Okay, so now that this is lined, yes. we're gonna go ahead and take our pate and very gently I'm sure glad it remove your delicious. hand right there. You sure? Mm -hmm. Now, what you wanna do, oops. Is push it? Is push it. You don't want a lot of air bubbles. Cast it. Well, that seems easy. And now we're gonna move this into our bon marie. The terrine in the bon marie. And if you could add the water. We're gonna get this into a 350 degree oven. Alicia, uh -huh. we have taken our pâtés out of the oven. Ooh. We're gonna take this one out. It's like opening a present. Yeah, well, let's see what it looks like. Oh my golly. What we're going to do now, and I know it seems anticlimactic, but we're gonna weight this down a brick wrapped in saran wrap or foil is a perfect weight for this. And you wanna wait about three days because that really enables the flavors to develop a lot. Once this is done, is serve this with traditional accompaniments, okay? So, and, and I know you know this, but you have these little French pickles, which are delicious cornichon. You have some good crusty French bread. Perfect. Perhaps some olives and, and a good mustard. So we're really, we're really only missing one thing. Oh, well, and I know what that is. Okay, because I've, I've been waiting all afternoon. <laughs> okay, here we go. To a perfect, this was so exciting, and I'm so excited to do it myself. A perfect, so. fragrant pate, a uh, perfect thing for so many occasions, and I'm so glad to be here in your kitchen doing this. Oh, Thank you. Oh, well, it was so fun. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Okay, well, thank you very much for coming uh, and joining Jonathan and I. I hope this makes you realize that a lot of these things that seem so hard to make are not. So, bon appetit, and thank you very much, and I hope to see you soon at Alicia's in Brent.